26 BH Grey Wolf by Forest River, which is a member of their Cherokee division here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Cherokee being the number one selling travel trailer Forest River has ever built. Um, there's a lot of reasons for that. This is uh, an extremely, extremely sought after product in the market and for good reason. It's got a lot of great equipment and just little touches. Cherokee's been good for little touches. Um, I mean, rivaling that of the, the old days of Fleetwood, how they just had those smart features in them. You see a lot of that here. I'm going to touch on that. I'm going to tell you a little how it's built. Um, you know, because this, this floor plan is the most common floor plan in bunkhouse campers. So why go with the Grey Wolf? Why purchase from Halitz? You know, why, why, why do all that? That's what this video is about. By the way, anytime, down here in the video description, if you're just on YouTube, click for price and availability. That'll take you right to the list of no slide bunkhouses to see what we have in stock and what it costs with its particular set of options and equipment, because that can vary. Uh, so this is a Grey Wolf Limited, which is a highly upgraded series, power awning, power tongue jack, uh, the smooth, extra thick uh, aluminum nose sweep on here. That aluminum on the nose is 250% thicker than the sidewall. So this whole nose is a stone guard. Now you see an obvious stone guard down here, but the whole thing functions the same way. It's got a little trickle charge solar prep kit, which is enough to keep the batteries and fans uh, running, you know, if you are dry camping. Nice big wide baggage door over here, and you see the storage does go right under the bed. And what you won't see in Cherokee is a whole lot of particle board. They just don't use a lot of it. You know, they use good lumber. Um, the floor is a 5 8 uh, tug and groove uh, plywood. The roof trusses, it's on a, a 5 inch uh, roof truss with um, 3 8 walkable decking on top so a grown person can walk on this. Uh, they use, you know, just simple 20 pound propane tanks because they're easy to swap out on a Sunday if you're grilling or something. By the way, there is a grill connection on the, the front right next to that baggage door on the other side. Power tongue jacks and other ones upgrades we put on here, 4,550 pounds, so super easily towable. And little details again, like the, the stove top hood actually exhausts heat outside when you're cooking. A black tank flush, an outside utility shower, stuff that you don't usually find at a family class camper you're going to find here on one of these. Like this uh, really awesome cargo travel rack back here, that's part of the limited package. Um, this can be a bike rack, a light duty cargo tray that can hold to what, two, 250 pounds, something like that. Spare tire does not need to come off uh, to flip it into the down position. This is pre-wired for a backup camera. That's what this little black box is up here. So you just plug that in, then you have a wireless monitor if your hand, if you're so inclined. We have those aftermarket here in our shop. If you're curious to what they cost, give us a call. And that's the thing, we do have a full parts and service center. If you need a hitch, if you need financing, if you need a truck to tow this thing, or if you just need a truck to tow your existing camper, we literally do everything here in one spot. We are a total uh, one-stop shop. Uh, you know, trades obviously included in that mix. Full storage below the, the lower full size bunk here, and that is no small amount of storage space. That is a pr pretty hefty amount of storage. Uh, they're also very good for putting windows all over the place. Cherokee is very good at using big windows to get lots of light, even in their smaller campers. Um, the, uh, I talked about the power awning, but we also have an outside TV hookup. Uh, we generally don't include televisions on our Cherokee uh, series trailers, including the Grey Wolf because we found that you can get one cheaper after market. You can just go to Walmart or Target and get a nice flat screen and save money as compared to the factory pricing. But they still, we still build it with the option of bringing the TV outside because that also, you see, you've got the outside speakers here. Plus, nobody ever complains about having a couple plugs outside if you got a little mini fridge or something you want to run. Now, a couple nicer uh here. We still have the full-size entry handle. I think that's part of the core package or which I can't remember what there's like four packages we put on these we loaded up now here's another really cool thing friction sprung door wind whips that thing open tries to slam it against the side of the trailer it uh, barely got it to touch there you can't do it you have to really heave this thing now because it's a friction door it doesn't need a hold back so you're not going to rip screws out of your you know entry door because you forgot to unlatch this thing and because it doesn't need a hold back it doesn't stick out as far so that sharp little corner right down there that's away from junior's cheeks you know so that your kids aren't going to rip their face up if they run around Maybe that's being a little dramatic, but I don't know. Seems like it could happen. I'll take my chances. I'll eliminate that. By the way, this is called the um, natural decor, but we sell a bunch of these, so if the next one we have in stock looks a little different, that's why. So keep in mind, this video, uh, the unit that we have in stock may look, may be equipped a little different than this, but not usually. This is pretty good barometer of what we're looking at here. So, right away, this thing looks and feels 
so much bigger than the other 26 foot no slide bunk houses out there. And it's because they do a full cutaway above the sofa. They don't put that barrier wall right here. Now, um, you still have that privacy curtain you can pull across. So no matter what, you're gonna have a curtain in this floor plan that no matter who builds it, but now we just have this nice, big, wide open look and feel. And that allowed them to extend this cabinet all the way down. So you're not giving up cabinet space to do it either. And again, remember I said they were really good for windows in here. You'll see more on the other side and even one right next to me where I'm standing. Um, so all of your countertops in the uh, Cherokee Limited series are a sealed pressed membrane countertop with a legitimate super strong sink cover here. Now. Because we have a little countertop extension there, so when you're sitting down, you actually, if you're if you're sitting, you have a place to set a drink, and not a lot of trailers offer that. Perfect little phone charging and, and device charging outlets right there. You notice that as well. It's not an accident. Very premeditated. This is a family class camper, but it's extremely well equipped. Um, the uh, countertop I told you is all sealed press membrane so if you're splashing water around it can't sink in anywhere and because this is waterproof they could recess the sink to give you more counter space so they said hey huh, why stop there let's go ahead and recess the stove now we've got nice flat open counter space you can actually use they use a very residential shaker style cabinet which is just bigger and easier to get into you've actually got hardware you know a handle you can hold on to to get in this thing um, we have uh, this has been upgraded to central air conditioning which is not standard in this class or at this price point another thing included in the uh, packages is this really generously sized kitchen skylight here and there is a shade so that you don't feel like you're cooking under a magnifying glass but Man, does it add just a lot of extra ambient light in here. Although, you do have nice LED lights in this, and they're all on the same switch, which is nice. Usually, in travel trailers, you have to go through, at, at least in family class campers, you have to go through and flick each switch on individually. You don't have to deal with that here. Nice little pull-out sprayer faucet never offends anybody either. Your dinette. There is full storage under this. And this is also not a press board constructed tabletop. Though this is not a membrane tabletop either, it's just real wood. The benefit to doing this is that it's lighter yet stronger than the common Formica press board um, uh, combination tabletops. So it's easier to manipulate if you fold it into a bed, plus it's stronger in case you have a big kid sleeping on it. And big flipping window, I wasn't joking, they're good for windows in these things. Um, all-in-one entertainment system, AM, FM, CD, DVD, does anything, everything, inside, outside. You have separate inside, outside speaker zones you can activate on that. Um, again, if you want to install a TV, you notice how that bracket right there matches the one that we saw outside. So one TV can very easily float through uh, the RV inside, outside, wherever. And again, remember I was talking about little touches. Today, everyone seems to like the, the double over double bunk, but you give up storage to get it. And that's why we still bring this one in stock because it still brings that unique quality here. Um, you're going to maintain an extra closet up here where the double double bunk has to sacrifice that. And remember I said Cherokee's good at touches. They hand build an extra drawer there from the factory uh, that I don't know of anyone else that does anything like this or really has or ever has. Every ounce counts, guys. Say that with me again. Every ounce counts. You know, you need storage space, and they give you the most they possibly can here. It's nice little touches, too, like the, the print they have on their door. It sort of looks like that little burned-in grain on it. A lot of people ask me, why don't they make the door the right height? And that's an easy assumption to make if you've never gone camping. If you've gone camping, you realize that there's a power ceiling vent fan in here and Cherokee gives you a full-size Max Air vent fan instead of the 4-inch cheap plastic fan. Not that that 4-inch cheap plastic fan is fine for just the bathroom, but this bigger fan can actually help service the entire RV. If you open windows for ventilation, guess what? When you breathe, that's a ton of heat. Okay, people generate a ton of heat. And in a small space like this with a family of four or six or whatever you have, all that heat's going to rise to the top and form a hot blanket up here. Well, guess what? That fan's going to suck that hot air right out this slot. And without the bathroom hanging wide open, because that's not something everyone wants to look at all the time, you can have almost like a, a nice air conditioning effect going on, even without the AC roaring. That is nice. And this is 12 volts, so that works when the uh, uh, you're just on battery power. Foot flush stool at this class, you don't usually find that. And like I said, bigger fan and a skylight. A lot of brands will try to save money by shoving the fan above the shower uh, to try to give you light, but obviously more is better than less in this case. 
Uh, again, sealed pressed membrane countertops everywhere. They don't chintz down anywhere. This is what you get in the way we tend to equip them. This is not standard. This is how we build them. And again, touches in a Cherokee. A big full-size sink an adult can actually wash their hands in. And the largest medicine cabinet in their class. That seems like a silly thing to talk about. But again, if you're going to have five or six people in here, you got toothbrush, toothpaste, blow dryers, shavers, God knows what else, Q-tips, you know, all that stuff. You don't want to lose your countertop space. You want that here to be useful. So you got to tuck that stuff away. And they actually give you a big enough cabinet to do that in the Cherokee. Not the industry standard. Um, the uh, Man, there's actually a couple big windows in here that are kind of hard for me to work with with the camera. Because I can't point a camera right at them because the camera will go dark. But once again, with that full cutaway wall up here, does that not just look much larger? Much more open? And I, I really like that. You know, on a big rainy day, if you're stuck inside, mom and dad can kind of use the bed like their own sofa, but you're still involved in the family. Nobody gets left out and left behind. Um, jackknife sofa here in a Cherokee is something they do a little different too. The middle section, see, folds down into that armrest, and it does have cup holders because, once again, uh, it's just more feature and more function. But this can still fold down into a bed. It works exactly the same as every other jackknife sofa. Even with one hand, you can still operate this thing. That's all the harder it is. Um, the uh, Over here, you see our, we've got an easy, easy walk around bed. Um, not hard to get around this thing at all. And you do have bedside stands for CPAP machines and phone chargers. Um, your Cherokees, they are including shelves above the bed, not just, or pardon me, a cabinet above the bed, not just a shelf. And you see how they mirror these wardrobe cabinets just to give it more light, more reflectivity. Uh, cross breeze fire escape window here, big, big, uh, you know, just light pouring into that window over here for, for illumination. They do such a good job in these. That is why it's the best selling trailer Forest Rivers ever made, guys. Um, there are, there's a lot of good campers out there, don't get me wrong. Um, but there are very few trailers that does everything you'll find in a Cherokee or by extension, it's, it's brother, the Gray Wolf. Um, so give us a call, learn more, 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe. Have fun. Happy camping, everyone.